In today's video, we are going to review and tear down the Power Queen 10 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. So this battery uh, is a cheap battery I found on Amazon for like 55 bucks for a 10 amp hour battery. That's that's pretty darn good. Comes out to about five dollars and fifty cents an amp hour. Very very affordable battery. Let's get this guy weighed up. And this battery weighs three pounds. 1.1 ounces as you can see it's in the traditional 12 amp hour uh, sealed lead acid form factor all right guys as you can see the test passed we ended up with 11.33 amp hours really really good for a 10 amp hour battery so here's that what i like to call the helix factor 10.8 volts on this battery so well well beyond its rated capacity so i'm i'm getting pretty excited about this one so this battery did pretty good on the test, uh, passed, had even a little bit of capacity to spare. Be pretty interesting to see the build quality of this battery. So I think we need to uh, crack it open. Let's void the warranty. Oh, hey, check this out. Let's void the warranty. Here we go. I almost forgot to do the short circuit protection test. So what we are looking for is this BMS, the battery management system of, the, of this battery. We're looking for that to knock this battery off when, when it detects a short. Oh! Maybe it's just slow to react. We're going to have to try that again. Alright, this battery does not have short circuit protection. This, this wire got really hot. We could see the uh, amps on there. Holy cow. All right. Well, I am already saying this battery should, you should not waste money on this battery. No short circuit protection. Dang it. You know, I was really hoping for a good, good, but another battery I could recommend. It's been a while. Well, let's crack it open. I'll just have to be extra careful. So obviously that was not sealed up very well. Didn't take much at all. So Power Queen 10 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. First look. It's got bathroom caulk in it, which isn't a bad thing for a battery, I guess. It's just kind of a pain in the butt for me. But it, I do like that. Their balance leads here. They did caulk that down, so that's you don't have to worry about that coming off. I don't like that their balance leads are crossing each other. All right, let's see if we can't dig this guy out of here. You would think that a guy that does what I do for a living would have some electrical tape laying around. All right, so there's things on here I like and I don't like. You gotta be pretty careful because it does not have short circuit protection so that's instant failure for me so um i already don't want you guys buying this battery just because of that uh this battery pack it's a 4s 2p um these cells they don't say it on here but i'm guessing these are probably five amp hour cells and you have these two are in parallel with each other. These two are in parallel. These are two are par parallel. And these two 
are in parallel with each other. Um, and then this set of parallel cells are in series with that one. This set is in series with this one on the, here on the back side. And then this one right here is in series with these two. What I really, really like on this pack and not a lot of companies are doing it is they're either insulating these cells um, with some type of paper or spacing them like that. That's pretty much the only thing I do like on this pack. Uh, they appear to be pretty, pretty good cells. Uh, obviously they're new. So cell wise, I like them. The cell spacers, the cell holder, really like that. It does not have a low temperature charging protection circuit. And what that does is basically prevents damage to your pack when you charge it uh, when it's frozen. So something I touch on in every video. This right here is a, a temperature sensor for overheating your pack. Basically, it won't let it discharge. Um, it'll, it'll turn it off when this gets over about 150 degrees or so. So this is not a cold temperature sensor. I don't like your balance leads here. They're the balance leads are all kind of crisscrossing each other. You know, these are they're, they really should be separated out a little bit better. I mean, just yeah not impressed with it at all the short circuit protection circuit that doesn't exist in this thing has really just killed it for me so i was hopeful but yeah this pack uh i really don't even want to spend any more time on it because it doesn't have that feature i was hopeful it looked really good after the capacity test i was excited but like with so many of these videos i get excited about about these batteries then open up opening them up and see the the true story. Hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching guys.